sweet and juicy ear of corn is one of my favorite foods, and I'm not alone. In fact, corn is a huge ingredient in the American diet, but it comes with a heavy price. That's why it's the focus of this next chapter in Dr. Green's Organic Prescription. Number 10, the last one on the list, is corn. Corn fattens up America's beef. It accounts for 90% of all feed grains in the United States. High fructose corn syrup is fattening up America's human population. In the United States, more land is planted in corn than any other crop. It's 80 million acres. More chemical fertilizers, more pesticides are used on corn than any other crop. And most of it, 50 million acres of the corn is genetically modified. Out of all of the corn that's planted, only 0.016% is organic. This is a tough one to change. But if we change corn, we change agriculture. Just off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico is a dead zone in the water that's about the size of the state of New Jersey, where most aquatic life simply can't survive. It doubled in size between 1985 and 1999. And according to the Congressional Research Service, the main cause of this is fertilizer runoff, primarily from corn, that goes into the Mississippi River and then dumps into the Gulf. This is a tragic but important picture of the high cost of industrial corn production. Changing this tenth item on the list is the toughest one of all. It's only intended for those really committed to change because switching to organic corn means checking every ingredient label. And if you see corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, corn sweetener, dextrose, glucose, corn starch, modified corn starch, vegetable starch, corn solids, or corn oil, choose organic. Choosing organic corn means skipping most conventional sodas and conventional baked goods. More than 4,000 U.S. products contain corn as an ingredient. And that doesn't count all of the corn used in livestock production. Choosing organic corn means choosing organic meat and organic dairy and organic poultry. The industrial production of conventional corn is having a devastating effect on the American landscape, on our soil, on our air, on our livestock, our people, and on our waters. Switching to organic corn is extremely difficult, but it could do wonders for the health of your family. And no other change could improve the health of so many acres of cropland. For more information, visit me at drgreen.com. I'm Dr. Alan Green, and corn is my organic prescription for today.